All right, guys, how you doing? Want to try and some uh, new content regarding CS of two, of course, now. And I've been asked this a lot from my Twitch chat, my community, because I do a lot of fantasy league stuff and I never record the videos. I sometimes do this live on stream, but people are always like, why don't you make this into a video? It's super easy content. And because pe people typically enjoy the Pick'em's content, maybe they'll enjoy this as well. I'm also in the celebrity league, which I, I hate saying celebrity, but it's I am in the league and I'm doing okay. I think I finished in the top third last time, even though I actually missed the game. I think I was the highest placed person that didn't play every single game. Um, so I did okay last season. I even got a top, I think, one or two percent finish and won some money, which was awesome. So I'm trying to see how I can pit myself against some of the brightest brains in Counter Strike. For example, Maniac is in there, and the guy is absolutely insane at Fantasy League, as you'd expect from somebody that's as experienced and veteran as he is. So I'm going to go through my last picks because this actually is applicable and it is relevant to the next stage, the group stage of Katowice. So this is the play-ins. I got top 16%. I made a couple of very good decisions and a couple of very bad decisions, as it turned out. Um, I went for Don and Chopper. I, I watched a lot of Spirit playing in the RMR Open qualifiers, and these guys were lights out insane. Donk continues to prove that he is the real deal and i think chopper flies under a lot of people's radar he offers a lot in that spirit team obviously igling but additionally on top of that he plays a lot of supportive roles and he got me plenty of points at 61 went for major because i thought eternal fire might do better than some people anticipated and he was extremely cheap um, and that proved to be a very good decision with 51 points and then i kind of flubbed my lines a little bit i wanted to go for more of a budget orper because my money was pretty low at that point because donk was so expensive i went for mantu who got me six points um had a bit of an off last couple of games i think he could have got a lot more than that to be honest and big kind of choked a big lead against apex uh on the third map of ancient and then mia unfortunately had a bit of an off tournament minus eight points for me and it cost i want to say 205k so that's a really bitter pill to swallow vp crashing and burning against cloud nine and hobbit in ridiculous form it sometimes happens but yeah i'm going to think twice about mia in future i've, I've picked him a couple of times i've got stung by him so how did you guys do i got top 16 percent one time at one time, I was top five, and I was loving life. Um, didn't quite work out for me, but still managed to make my moves up the leaderboard quite a bit. So we take those. Now, the reason I'm showing you that is because a lot of these players, obviously, are now going to be taking part in the group stage, which is coming up next. Now, the, the way that I typically pick my players to start off with is I'm looking at what group they're in or what their run of a potential bracket is, what team they're playing against first, if I know the first fixture, that's also going to play into it because a lot of this stuff will be unknown. You don't know how all the tournament sort of schedule is going to come down with the RNG of teams potentially losing against each other and best of ones and all those kind of shenanigans. What we know is these are best of threes and we already know the fixtures and that's going to help me tremendously in picking my teams. So in Group A, we have FaZe, Rebels, Falcons, Eternal Fire, Na'Vi, Spirit, Complexity and Apex. For me personally, I'm looking at this and there's, there's two or three teams that are really jumping out to me. FaZe, because they're against Rebels in the first game and no disrespect to Rebels, but in the best of three, they should have 0% chance of beating FaZe. FaZe should cruise through this one and make it look very comfortable. After that, they're against Falcons or Eternal Fire, who are both solid teams, but I think FaZe should be better than both of them. So I'm looking at FaZe to have a pretty straightforward run to the upper finals, where they're going to be playing against Na'Vi, Spirit, Complexity, or Apex. I think Spirit and Na'Vi playing against each other in the first game is, realistically, whoever wins that, I expect to go through to the upper finals as well and meet FaZe. So I'm looking at FaZe in particular because Spirit and Na'Vi is a difficult for, one for me to call, and FaZe have also looked sharp, and, more importantly, some of their big hitters are quite cheap. Like, Rops is below 220k, I think. Brokey was like 208, 209k. And so, for me, those are like steals for those kind of prices. So, I'm, I'm going to be looking at FaZe here. And then in Group B, Vitality, Ents, G2, Heroic, Monty, Gamer Legion, Mouse, and Cloud9. I think Vitality are the definite favorites. I mean, they're the best team in the world right now. Most people would agree with that. They have the best player in the world in Sai Wu. And the rest of the team is firing all cylinders. Um... They, they have a really, really solid roster. I mean, even Apex, their IGL is, is fragging out. It's on like a 1.07 rating right now uh, since the player break has, has kind of closed. So they're looking in fine form. Ents is still finding their way. This isn't the classic Ents lineup, of course. Now it's more like the, the nine core, the Polish team. And I don't think they're going to have enough for Vitality. G2 could be a difficult game or heroic. Honestly, it could be either or. G2 still yet to find their footing in CS2 as far as I'm concerned. And then the rest of the bracket, I'm not super excited 
by. Cloud9 looked decent against VP, but VP kind of shot themselves in the foot. I'm still not sure about this mouse lineup. Monty could potentially do it. Game of Legion have turned a couple of heads in recent memory, but I'm looking at Vitality. I'm looking at G2 or maybe Heroic to make it all the way from this upper side. And I think whoever comes up against them is going to lose in that lower side. So I'm thinking of stacking my plays in Vitality and Phase. Now, unfortunately... I would normally pick it and I'd go through the prices and stuff. I did actually do that before and then I forgot to hit record because I'm a moron. So I've already picked my team as is follow. So I've gone with what I've said here. Now, after a lot of back and forth of which Vitality players I'll be picking and which phase players I'll be picking as well, I ended up deciding not to go for the heavy hitters, the Sphinxes, the Zaiwoos, of course, because they cost an absolute ton. And a lot of players right now are very expensive compared to last season. For example, Carrigan is significantly more expensive than before. Apex, he was like 190, I want to say 199k as well, uh, which is understandable because he's been playing really well. But I want to double stack Vitality, and the only way I can make this work is by going for Mezzi, who's had some good performances as of late, alongside Apex. And then I wanted to go for two phase players, and I realized that Rops and Brokey were both affordable, which was a no-brainer for me. And then unfortunately, because I had very low money, I think I had 170k left, and Casey was 169,000, he's the cheapest player. I've gone for him, I've slapped on the noob, I've slapped on the bottom frag and all those things. So I've stacked into phase and vitality because I personally feel like they're the favorites for me to go through their group and get some fairly straightforward results. Rebels in particular, I think, should be no match for phase. Ents will definitely be more difficult for vitality but I still feel like they're going to come out ahead and their their entire team I could have stacked more points maybe I could have dropped jumped in for like a flames but then I'm going to have to downgrade like either Rops or Brokey and I didn't want to I felt very comfortable with this lineup if I'm right about this four of my players are going to bag me a lot of points if I'm wrong it could just go horribly wrong after the first day or two especially if Vitality or Phase crash and burn but that's the nature of Fantasy League anyway let me know what you think of the team and let me know what your team is do you agree or disagree comment in the section below and if you like this content as well and you want me to do a video for each fantasy league that i do then let me know that as well and i'll try and do that as much as possible All right anyway good luck in the fantasy league guys i'll see you next time